What's up guys, I'm the Lucid Jackal, and we are here for part 6 of our Final Fantasy debut adventure. And we're going to get started actually by backtracking a little bit, because I actually listen to these videos not after I record them, which I probably should. I actually tend to listen to them after, or uh, the day that I release them is when I listen to them, which maybe not the best idea for me to do. But, so far, that's kind of how I do it, especially while I'm at work. But, listening to my footage, I realized that back at, uh, what, is, what was it called? Provoca? That I actually forgot to get myself, uh, some level 2 spells. Which, the main one that I want to get is the ice spell for... Dalf over here. Man, these daggers. Both of my, both of my big guys are missing. It's better. It's better. Ooh. Maybe you just miss a lot in this game. Ooh, I like all the sixes. Metal. River? I'm guessing I cannot go in there. Of course not. Doubt that I would be able to. It would not make sense for me to be able to do so. Ba -da 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 -da. So for me, this is Saturday. So this is the first, going to be the first. Be oh, fuck. Why? What is with the testicles? Someone should go get those balls checked out. One is clearly bigger than the other. All right. I feel like I remember these guys very specifically from my childhood. And I don't remember liking them, so we're going to fuck them up. I don't remember what they do, and I don't want to know. Okay, it's dead. All right. Oh, that's why. That's why. Boo. Boo. Boo, don't do that. Okay, all right. Hope everyone's had a good week so far. You guys are going to be... Well, actually, for you guys, you're going to be getting this video on a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Stop paralyzing people. It's very not fucking cool. Please? Ugh. Oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Okay, this is, uh... This odd eye needs to be getting rid of, like, pronto. I cannot be fucking around at all. Alright, ambush. I don't even care. Everybody else can waste a turn. Oh, I wish you could see my kitty. He's licking his paw. It's adorable. Before I nudged him as I was about to get started, he was curled up behind me on the couch here. It was pretty adorable. He's an all-black cat, green eyes. I don't know if all black cats have green eyes. I never had very many cats as a kid. And by very many, I mean I only had one. I'm told by legend he was a very evil cat. Okay. Is everybody missing these guys? Jeez. Holy shit. All right. I'm vastly overestimating the strength of my party. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe, mayhaps, getting these little daggers here wasn't very good. Okay, please heal, please heal, good, good. I'd really like all this experience. Oh god, finally, holy shit.
He is sure staying paralyzed for a long fucking time over here. Starting to feel more like springtime outside, which means all the sniffles I have are gonna get even worse than they've already been. Now I don't get to be affected by just my indoor allergies, but my outdoor as well. Oh, finally. Holy fuck. That would be like the character named after me. Fucking lagging dick. Taking forever. Well, I definitely know that there's going to be better weapons for me to get at Elfland, where I just was. Man, it's a good thing you guys love the sound of my voice, because there's no reason you'd rather be here than to watch me fight just one screen of enemies for like a quarter of the length of my video. You better give me sick-ass fucking amounts of gold. Oh, this better be good. Uh, not even that much. Ah, oh, and not that much experience either. Maybe 66 is a lot. Maybe I'm being fucking stingy. I don't know. It's been a few days since I've played, so I can't exactly remember the scale that we're talking about here. Uh, I mean, we're almost at level 5, so I mean, whatever. I feel like I should have gotten more for that. I got more from those fucking pirates. Alright, real quick. Now, from reviewing my past footage, I remember that we looked over what spells didn't work, but I never looked up which statuses don't work. So maybe in the next video, I'm going to look at that to see uh, what are going to be the other white spells here that I might not want to get or get. Sniffle, sniffle. I know Jacko can get shit, but yeah. Yeah, I know anti-lightning does something, but like I said last video, meh. Whatever the fuck. There's no reason to get that. All right, we're just going to do a real quick heal. Right quick. I like how the inn is the largest building in this fucking town. Alright, we got my man some ice. Get frosty with it. Time to go on. Alright. Now let's go back to Elfland, and we're actually going to go back and explore the town more. Before we start doing a bit of grinding, because I know I'm going to want to get a lot of shit before the next part of the game, because of just how much is available to me right now. But we got plenty to talk about. Yeah, at least you can do damage. See, even Gary's doing damage. How do you feel? I hope you feel bad. There we go. Hey. But missing some more, though. Maybe ev evasion is not one of the stats that's bugged. And maybe these guys just have high amounts of it. It's either they're really good at evading or my characters suck ass. I do want to get to level 5 before I go and explore the town. Just because, I mean, why not? There's no reason why not. So 
So you can't see me, so you don't see me just rocking out to this song. It's a bop. Yeah, it's kind of weird to, uh, to be 30, you know, I'm going to turn 31 this year. And to kind of just start doing all of this, uh, is this Canaria? Yeah. To just start doing all this stuff and start uploading stuff to YouTube now at my age, as opposed to doing it. Well, I did talk about having that one cha uh, channel that I just messed up completely. Not that one, but way back in the day, like ye old days of YouTube, like 2000, 2000, or 2010, 2011. I used to make YouTube videos back then as well. And those ones, I actually had my face up there. You will never see them because they're not connected with that email. I'm not connected to that email address anymore or anything. That's why I ended up having to make another YouTube name after a given number of years because I believe the old email that my original YouTube channel was under was for a service that's not available anymore and that email was invalid so I just I had to make a new one but I used to make YouTube videos back then but you know I was I was like 20 years old who gave a fuck what I had to say when I was 20 especially now that I'm 30 I would just tell myself to shut the fuck up like, bruh, you're 20. Nobody gives a fuck what you're saying right now. I would probably agree with most of the stuff that I was saying back then that I remember talking about, but I'd imagine, I'd hope, for much better reasons than I did back then. Now let's have you spit roast that guy real quick. But it's weird, you know, you look at, I look at myself at 30, not really having, you know, accomplished very much, and starting this endeavor at 30, definitely feels weird. And I know it shouldn't feel weird. Lots of people start doing a lot of hobbies or interests in their life at moderately older ages. It's not new not that unique but you know every once in a while you find yourself falling into the same social media trap where you know you see other people your age doing far more successful things than you'll probably ever do and I mean like I found something that I love to do as like a little side hobby but it's so much later than most people find to do stuff like this and I've always wanted to do this I've just never thought I really could or that I should all right well let's start swinging to these guys see if I can hit them and maybe it's just those assholes that have super high evasion <laughs> gross all right all right all right this is, this is working a little better actually I'm hitting these wolves much quicker than I was hitting those other water piece of shit. Yo, that's way better. But sometimes you gotta not... And you know what? It was, it was really weird. Because I actually thought about this when I was... I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I don't remember if I brought this up or not. But one of the things that I want to start doing is watching through all of the old... Well, not even old, because they still make them. Watching through the Pixar movies. Because especially watching them with my son. We were watching the newest one, Soul. And I was just bouncing in and out for a minute. And just looking at the quality of animation. I actually want to watch their movies the same way that... You know, the same way that I listen to music. I want to actually, like, see how their animation style has grown and developed over the years as a studio. But, because of doing that, I watched the second Pixar movie, Bugs Life, 
with my son. And, uh, hold on, let's talk to this guy. The prince must wake soon, or the dark elf will dominate. Ooh. Kinky. Ooh. Got some armor. Ooh, iron. We're gonna need that. Iron and copper. Ooh, okay. Is this, uh, headband? Is this something for your head or for your body? I'll have to look that up real quick. But that's dope. But, I hadn't watched that movie in more than a decade. And, talk to this guy. The, <laughs> and, I guess it was just weird to see Astos wears a disguise and lurks in seclusion. Alright, Astos, whoever the fuck that is. Long ago, I wandered to the northwest. I found an ancient castle that was so spooky, I left immediately. It's a very well put together sentence for this... This game. What do we got here? Pure fear. A mute. A ice. Um... Anti-mute, if that works. Uh, that would be nice. Pure, I'm definitely gonna want... Gross. Swords and armor made of silver are very powerful. Oh, I know. And you know what I'ma want? I'ma want swords made of silver. The prince will uh, stop with this dark elf will dominate shit. Definitely want ice too. Fast would probably be nice. I'd like fast. How much are these? These are like four thousand, did it say? Ugh. But no, it had been a long time since I had watched A Bug's Life. And the saying of the movie is the main character trying to explain to a side character that, you know, you'll grow in your own time. Don't worry about other people. Pretend it's a seed, okay? Where he, you know, he shows a rock and pretends it's a seed as like a, uh... An analogy? A comparison? I don't know. I forget, like, what the word for it is, but he uses it as just to illustrate that, you know, pretend it's a seed. And that at some point you'll grow into yourself, I guess. I, I'm super high, and it's a stupid way because I'm trying to keep an eye on what I'm doing. Fuck, silver swords are 4 2? Holy fuck. 4 and 4,000? Yikes. Alright. So I'm gonna need 8,000. I'm gonna need like, I'm gonna need a few, quite a few thousand smackaroonies. Did I, uh, I did not visit the, uh, inn, which I need to do. But no, it's just to see a, to see a movie actually have it also pointed out to the adult in the story who tried making the analogy. I guess we'll use that word. If it's not an analogy, then I'm fucking stupid. But, to have it pointed out to the character that, you know, <coughs> Ogre! Let's see your layers, motherfucker. But to have a movie where the main message be focusing on the main character who had constantly been failing most of his life, that... Ooh, boy. Don't you be doing that. Why are you hitting the mage, fucking asshole? Alright. But no, it was, it was a really... It really felt nice to watch a movie where... You know, I felt that there was a positive message being said about... You know, someone being an adult... Who feels relatively unaccomplished that it's never at any point too late for you to start doing what it is that you need to feel like you're accomplishing something. You know what? We're gonna do this. That definitely helps me a lot because 
like everybody else with low self-esteem, you know, sometimes that bothers you. Especially when you look at how successful other people can be at a much younger age. Like my favorite band in the world. Not not what I would consider the best band in the world, but my favorite band. Uh, Dark Tranquility from Sweden. At my age, they had already released, what, five, six albums by this point at my age? To think of people so much younger than me having already written, like these guys wrote my favorite album by them, The Gallery, for obvious reasons. Uh, if you don't know Dark Tranquility's The, Ga the Gallery, I, uh, you better get on that shit. Now, it's definitely death metal, so, uh, you know, if you're not into metal, venture cautiously, but it is a fantastic album. And to think that they wrote that when they were 21, it is a bit of a daunting thing is when you're somebody much older to look back on. Why would you do that? Fucking poison. The worst. What does this game do for when you get poisoned? You know, all games got like a graphic animation or a sound or something to let you... To remind you that you're poisoned. What's this game's? Oh, God. Alright, well, I'm curious. Move. Move! <laughs> Alright, this may be a waste of my money, but let's see. Wow! Going to the end does not heal poison. So whack. So whack. I'm gonna need more pure, pure potions too. Fuck. Alright, alright. What's the... No. Status. 713. That's not very dope. Ooh, we got quite a lot of Grey Wolves, though. This should be nice for the experience. But yeah, I see people... I think, what was it? Somebody I graduated with made it onto, like, the Fortune 500 or some shit like that. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy for the dude. That's some dope shit. But, you know, it does make, you know, you look back on yourself and... Make sure it, you have to make sure that you're content with where you're at in life. Sometimes that's not always the easiest to do, but you know you you, you do it anyway. You obviously, never wish less success on other people. That's bogus as fuck. You don't want to be doing stupid shit like that. That was a nice voice crack. My voice cracks more as an adult than it did as I was growing up. It's fucking weird. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. All right. Yeah, see, these these battles give a decent amount of experience. I get just under a hundred every time, so you know, it's not too bad. You can make it work. Ice, mofaku. There we go. I finally feel like I'm getting to a point in this game where I'm, like, strong enough to, like, do shit now. Level 5. Level 5 in this game is when you can start to do shit. But alright, guys. That's actually going to be it for today. Take it easy. If you guys like retro games, this is the fucking place you want to be. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, take it easy. Love you guys. Peace.